Dr. Kassir, could you please tell us a little bit more about why Northwestern is doing this today? Why are we here? Why are classes canceled? Northwestern's vision is to be the premier health sciences university, creating a healthier world. And part of that vision is to live healthy in our clinics, learn healthy in our university, and serve healthy in our community. Each year, we get together and identify a list of organizations in the community whose missions we believe we can help advance. They're organizations that help people find better housing. They're organizations that help people get access to food that they need. They're organizations that help educate our young people, like our next door neighbors at the school. It's really about advancing the missions of other organizations and in turn advancing our own. We are here at the Pillsbury House for Service and Appreciation Day. Typically when we are at Pillsbury House, we are providing, the students are providing chiropractic care, acupuncture, and massage. Today for Service and Appreciation Day, we are putting mulch into the playground. That's the service we're offering the Pillsbury House today. And we have Ingrid with us. She is one of the students. Ingrid, what program are you in at school? I'm in the massage therapy program. I'm a T2. Tell us a little bit more about why you chose uh, Pillsbury House for Service and Appreciation Day today. You know, the mission means a lot to me and I'm thinking about doing uh, an internship here. The whole point of this place is contributing to a community and I felt like this was a really important way to do that. We are here with Candice. Candice, could you tell us a little bit about your role at school? Sure. I'm a massage therapist in the clinic and I also supervise massage therapy students. Why did you choose this site today? I really respect the work that the Aliveness Project does. I think that um, the work they do is so important in the community and um, helping people who have been diagnosed with HIV positive. We have Megan with us. I chose the Aliveness Project because it's in my neighborhood. Mm. Um, I live three blocks from here and so it's part of my community and I wanted to learn more about what the Aliveness Project does and help out. And we're uh, just about to head out to the garden uh, where we'll be harvesting some vegetables. You know all about that. I do. What did you used to do? <laughs> I was an organic vegetable farmer for 12 years before I started acupuncture school. So we're going to expect a lot from you when we go out there. Yeah, picking kale. <laughs> we are back at school at Northwestern Health Sciences University. We spent the day in the community with over uh, 200 of our staff, faculty, and students serving over 20 nonprofit organizations throughout the Twin Cities. How we end this day is with Summer Jam. We just grabbed Sheena Getter. You are a T5, six Cairo yep. student and she headed this entire thing. So tell us a little bit about what's going on here. What are we doing today? We've got yard games all over the place. The inflatables. Talk and the inflatables, yeah. They just about killed me. <laughs> We've got a bungee run this year, a Velcro wall. We have our special guest, You Ought to Know, local band. They're amazing. Service and Appreciation Day is one of my favorite days of the year, not just because it gets us all out of the office. That's a great thing too, to get out and enjoy the sunshine and, and such, but to be able to reach out in the community, get to know the students, chat with them in a different sort of environment, hear their stories, and to top it off with the summer jam with music and inflatables and games. Uh, really great way to celebrate the summer and celebrate our students. So, love it. Thanks for the day off. Oh, you bet, yeah. <laughs>